Hi, I'm Naomi Dake, one of the psychology practitioners at the Optimum Health Clinic. And I'm here today to talk to you about recognising your current mind-body relationship. Hopefully by the end of this little video, you will be able to have an exercise that you can use to reflect on how connected your mind and your body are currently. And that hopefully will give you some insights into how to develop that even further and support your well-being even even better. So why is it important to have a strong mind-body connection? Well, a couple of reasons really. When we have a strong mind-body relationship, we are feeling a lot more trust in our body, in our mind. We're feeling a lot more safe a lot more connected in a place where we're more aligned with ourselves. So there's not a, a kind of inner battle going on between two different parts of ourselves. And it means that we're all playing on the same team. So our mind and body are going in the same direction. Often what we see is a, a very common disconnect in fatigue related conditions between the mind and the body. And what that leads to is really that lack of trust and safety. Um, that can manifest in, in many different ways, both physically, through inflammation, aches, pains, fatigue, etc. And also psychologically, it can make us feel less resilient, less able to cope, sometimes uh, affect our self-esteem, maybe even give us anxiety or, or potentially even depression. So we really want to make sure that we're nurturing a strong connection and a strong uh, relationship between our mind and our body. And both, as we know, play a, a fundamental role in our recovery. So what can we do? Well, there's a, a really nice, simple reflective exercise that we often do with clients at the clinic. And I'm going to share it with you now so that you can perhaps use it for yourself and see if that's helpful. In the way that we do that, we use a scale of one to ten, one being low and ten being high. And what we would ask you to do is to just reflect for a moment. You might want a pen and paper for this one, but you can, of course, just make a note on your phone or device, or whatever's handy. And what we would do is we would ask each of those parts in turn. So mind and then body, often the way around we do it. But we ask our mind, where would you rate the relationship between our mind and body right now? Where do we think we are? How connected and in tune are we? And then we do the same from the body's perspective as well. So we'd ask the body, where do we think we are in the relationship with the mind? And that should give us a couple of different scores, which might be interesting in itself to reflect on. Sometimes we would also give clients um, a little add on to the exercise where we, we say, if you're giving your mind and your body a voice each, and they could ask for anything from the other, what would they ask for? What would the mind really find helpful from the body? And what would the body find really helpful from the mind? And that can be quite interesting and quite empowering, particularly for the body, because it's often the mind's voice that we hear most clearly or loudest. So really hearing from the body is quite important in this process. So there's an exercise you can try. See how you get on with that. If you want to let us know any of your comments, please feel free to do that. And if you want to find out any more information, you can, of course, uh, check out the optimumhealthclinic.com website. I hope that's been helpful for today.